Hey guys, I'm back today doing another dessert and this is not a traditional Trini recipe so I'm just letting you all know from now. This is something my mom has been making from as long as I can remember and it's so damn good. So you guys need to try this recipe. It's really really delicious. I have no idea where my mom got the recipe but I actually looked it up and I saw that it's similar to a Filipino fruit salad. So I'm guessing she probably got it from someone she used to work with. So if you guys want to see how I do this really delicious recipe, then keep watching. So these are the ingredients you'll need for the fruit cocktail. It's not a lot of stuff. It's just you have to put everything together. It's not a lot of hard work. So I have a can of the tropical fruit there. Dad actually has passion fruit and pineapple and pawpaw in it. The regular fruit cocktail has grapes peaches and pears in it and I have a can of media crema we also call this table cream or heavy cream this is what we actually use to make barfi for Diwali so you can find this in almost every grocery in Trinidad and if you live out of Trinidad you can find it in Walmart or you can find it in any Spanish or West Indian store I also have a can of sweetened condensed milk. I'm actually not going to use this entire thing. I'm just going to use some of it because I don't like mine too sweet. So I'm just going to use maybe about quarter to half of this can. And I have some nutmeg that I just grated. You can use how much or how little you want. Some vanilla extract and a cup of milk. And you'll need a whisk just to whisk all those heavy ingredients together. And obviously you'll need a bowl to put it into the fridge. You can also put these into popsicle mold or you can put it into ice trays as well to make um, blocks if you want. So first you want to drain all that sugary liquid from your cans of fruit cocktail and just add it to your bowl. So once you drain your fruit cocktail now we're going to go ahead to mix everything else together. So to my milk now, I'm going to add in some of the condensed milk. I'm not going to add too much. And just stir it just to combine the condensed milk because it's really thick. I'm not going to make mine too sweet, but if you want, you can make it sweeter. And if you're actually, actually, if you're diabetic, you can just omit condensed milk completely. You can just add something else, like maybe Truvia or Stevia or something, or Splenda. Or you can just add a little dash of honey just to give it a little sweet kick. So now you want to add your vanilla and the nutmeg and just whisk it well now we're gonna add the heavy cream or the media cream and this is how it looks it's extremely thick see how thick it is Now we're going to add it to our fruits. Now just mix it really well and you can taste it to see if it needs anything else like sugar or any more extract or nutmeg or anything. And if you want this to be thicker, you don't have to add the milk. If you want it to be thinner, you can add a little more milk. So now you just want to cover this and put it in the fridge for a few hours until it's really nice and cold. And if you want, you can put it in the freezer as well until it gets a little bit frozen, not completely frozen, just a little bit and it'll taste absolutely amazing.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this really easy fruit cocktail recipe. It's a really different recipe from what I've put up so far. It's something that you probably haven't heard of, but it's really, really good. So I suggest you try it. It's a really good summer dessert because you can freeze these into ice blocks or into popsicle molds and make popsicles. And it's not too sweet. You can adjust how much sweetness you add to it. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Leave me your comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to see all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!